is up, you guys? CC Clemens, aka Vibin' Weirdo, the one and only. Yes. Water drinkage time. Let's talk about Bullet Train. Yes. This was the movie I was looking most forward to for August, birthday month. Turn up. Let's go. <laughs> and yeah, I just want to share my thoughts about it. So, no spoilers, of course. Uh, people watch movies at different times on their own pace, their own time. I respect that. So no spoilers. So first of all, Brad Pitt. All right. I've never been a huge Brad Pitt fan. Um, just growing up, I just never, you know, didn't care much for the movies that he was in as I was growing up. But Brad Pitt, he plays a character called Ladybug. The whole thing with him is he's like an unlucky assassin. So he's an assassin, but he tries to do things as peacefully as possible. Um, yeah, that is, is as possible as you can with being an assassin. Crazy. He's unlucky. It's like this whole thing about how he's unlucky, but he still seems to like make it out of situations. So as he's trying to do things peacefully, he's on a mission that puts him in a position where that's not the case. It's not gonna be peaceful. And it's, you're gonna have to get ratchet mm -hmm. and destruction domination. There's like a lot of people after something and just fighting each other, killing each other to get what they need. And there's also a lot of other connections and stories to it that kind of uh, puts a dent in the plans uh, for, the, uh, for whatever mission that they have. And then all of this is taking place on the train. For the most part so i'm not i'm gonna be honest i was really excited just from the trailer i was really looking forward to it i must say the critics they got this one wrong they bashed this movie i watched a review from someone i've I, I followed for years like she was trash in the movie like it was just so bad and i was like i'm still watching it <laughs> reviews don't stop me if i want to watch a movie i'm gonna watch it period and i'm so glad i did because i had a very different takeaway from it was it perfect? No. Could it have been better? Of course, like almost every movie ever. But it was a really fun movie. I had a blast watching it. Like I'm watching it and just like laughing, smiling, like having a great time. It was a very fun watch. Um, the movie's like two hours long, some change. Um, and I was, I was engaged the full time. There were some surprise cameos in there that I really enjoyed. There's no surprise that Sandra Bullock was in there. We could clearly see that um, in the trailers. It could have probably been more of a secret, like kind of waiting until the, like even a, like a su surprise or secret, but there's some other like cameos in there from, um, you know, other people that were surprising and that I absolutely loved. And yeah, and I didn't realize like Brad Pitt is funny, man. He's, he's pretty funny. I saw him in Lost in the City with Sandra Bullock and I loved his, he was actually my favorite character of the whole movie. Um, Cause he was just so funny, the, the character he played. And this one? He was awesome. I thought he was hilarious. The comedic timing, I thought it was perfect. Like there would be, and some people, there was only a few other people in the theaters, um, but some people didn't catch it, but I caught all of it. Like all the little nuances, all the little lines, the comedic timing with stuff, or just inserting things here and there. It was hilarious to me, I, I loved it. Some of it, when the man and I have been like, ha ha ha, that's ridiculous and pathetic if you're laughing like that to everything. But it was funny and I, I really enjoyed it. The story overall was pretty good. The twists and turns, it made sense. Things connected together, so that's good. I definitely will be rewatching it. My favorite characters though, for sure, would have to be Tangerine and Lemon. Their arc and art is just is great. They give you like a little backstory of their uh, their history. And they, they were just hilarious. Just seeing their bond too was really cool to see. Um, and yeah, they just, they were just funny. The acting too was pretty good, pretty spot on. Everyone in here did pretty well, did very well. Yeah, but I absolutely love those two characters. They were my that my favorite of like the whole movie. I loved it. Like I left out like, man, that was fun. That's that's how I felt. So if you're gonna ask me, was it perfect? No, right? I'm not gonna like act like it was perfect. I'll agree with the critics on that, but it's a great movie. It's a good movie. And if you want to just have a good time and have fun watching a film, escaping for a few hours, whether if it's at the movies or eventually when it comes, when it's available, like on streaming, definitely go for it. Um, do not let the critics steer you wrong on this one. Watch it for yourself and see how you feel about it. I do that with all my movies and 90% of the time, I'll say 90% of the time when I've watched a movie that critics have bashed, I've enjoyed or I've liked at least. Like it wasn't that bad or 
this was great or this was cool. It's not as bad as they set it out to be. So go ahead, check it out if you're interested. See it for yourself and you make your decision. That's the power of just going to the movies. Just go to the, go to the movies. Just just do it if you can. Okay, get some plan going on. You know, if it works with your budget and take advantage. All right. Well, that's all, you guys. Those are my thoughts on Bullet Train. Uh, yeah, so far my favorite movie I've seen um, in August. There's some more coming up. But, uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. CC Clemens, Vibin' Weirdo. Peace. Reptile. Don't do that. Don't keep that in there. Yeah.